Okay, question one. Find v, the magnitude of vector v, which is 18, negative 14 and 3. Magnitude. We are looking to use Pythagoras. So we are going to square each of the components, add them and then take the square root. Stop the video, go and have a go. So this is how we kick off. We take each of our components, we square them, we add them and we take the square root. Watch, even though it's a negative, you know it's going to turn into a positive, make sure when you do your substitution, you still put it in as a negative, okay? So chuck that into the calculator and let it do the work for you. And our answer is 23. Right, marking wise, you get a mark for starting your process, in other words, doing this, and then you get your second mark for your answer. Question two, my necklace is valued at £1,200. Its value is expected to increase by 4.5% per year over the next three years. Calculate the expected value of the necklace after this time. Give your answer to the nearest pound. Okay, so we have got a value. We are told how much it is increasing by per year for the next three years. Compound percentages. So you start with your 100%, we're increasing, add it on, change it to your to decimal to get your multiplier, and then your power is your time there. Okay, stop the video, go and try it yourselves. Okay, so we're starting with 100%, we're increasing by 4.5, so we add the 4.5 on. That gets us 104.5%. We then change that to a decimal by dividing by 100, which gets us 1.045. That's my multiplier there. Okay, so to start with, it is valued at 1,200. We multiply it by our multiplier to the power of the time scale. We've got three years, so it's to the power three. Chuck it into your calculator, let it do the work. Okay, so you should get an answer of 1369.399 going on. We've been asked to do it to the nearest pound. So you have to round that to the nearest pound. We've got a three there, staying as it is. So we're going to round that to 1369 pounds. So final answer, 1369 pounds is the necklace's value after three years. Right, number three. A piece of land is in the shape of a triangle as shown. PQ is equal to 250 metres, PR is 180 metres, and angle QPR is 147. The owner wishes to build a fence alongside QR, which is this one here. We need to calculate the length of the fence. Okay, let's look at this. You know it's either going to be sine rule or cosine rule. Which one? Sine rule, we need an angle and its opposite side. We don't have that here. We have got a side, side, and the angle it makes. That's cosine rule. Make sure you copy it down right for your formula sheet. Stop the video, go and have a go. So we're using cosine rule. We are going to call this side A. We're going to name this according to what we've got there so we don't make mistakes. So the side we want to find is A. So that's the important one. That's what we want to find. So we name that one A because that's where that is there. Opposite angle, capital A. Doesn't matter how you name the other ones. So I've just gone for B side B, angle C, side C. So now we've got that done, it's just a case of sticking the numbers into the formula. Okay, so we have A squared is equal to 180 squared plus 250 squared minus 2 times 180 times 250 times the cosine of 147. Chuck it into your calculator and get an answer. Okay, so you should get... 
But please remember that is a squared. We now need to take the square root of this beastie here. So taking the square root, you get 412.771 dot dot dot. So answer your question. We've been asked the length of QR. So we are going to give the length of QR to two decimal places. So QR is equal to 412.77 metres. Done. Marking scheme. You get a mark for substituting correctly into your formula. You get another mark for correctly calculating the squ A squared or QR squared. And then you get your final mark for stating what QR is equal to. Three marks.